what is, of course, a truly special day in this part of the world. It is Derby Day, a rivalry so deeply entrenched into the history of sport in this land. It divides opinions, it divides families, it divides just about anything that can be divided. The game itself lasts just 90 minutes, but its repercussions can be felt for months and years ahead. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. This is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. I'm sitting here, Peter, thinking, is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances? This exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry. To me, it also has the same feel to it. And I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative, high-intensity affair. We can't really say anything negative about this. And if it is full-on, then... I'll be happy to watch that. So we're up and running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Sadio Mane. He's one of the paciest players around, Peter. He's a, a very dangerous dribbler and a fine finisher to boot. I particularly like the way he gives defenders a headache by drifting across the forward line, looking for gaps to, to probe and, and spaces to get into. I think he's going to be a really huge asset for this team. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Bruno Fernandes, a heavy challenge, that's one way of trying to make things happen, there's a few who could follow that example, now it's Roberto Firmino, and it's Rashford, and here's Mohamed Salah, gorgeous control there, out towards the flank. That looks a... Tries a shot! There it is! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to pick him out. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Rashford has been caught there. It's a foul. Fred has brushed off the ball there. And he's going to be pulled back for that one. Firmino is being told in no uncertain terms that this will be his final warning. He just needs to find the control button. On. Chance to shoot! Racing over the bar. If he sacrifices some power, he may control the elevation. Liverpool have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Chance! 
Oh, great defending. That needed doing. Pogba. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Going through. Allison claims it. Out to the right. And it's got through. And he's there to cut it out. That's been drilled forward. Matic does well there. Alert. Alexander Arnold. Good defending there. They've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Salah. And the counter is on. Forward it goes. Dinks one in. That intervention was very necessary. Maguire drives it forward. Bruno Fernandes. Ball through needs to be good here. Has a hit! A great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. And this could be the final action of the first half. And it's Pogba. Played into... And a header! And that's it for the first half. A breathless ending. And here we are. Off they go for half-time. The best who did indeed come in the first half. And there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight not the most convincing of displays they could certainly do much better than this they want to keep things simple build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes So off we go once more. Manchester United need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experienced player has a pop! He has done it! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Leave it clear. Martial tries to get it forward quickly. Alexander Arnold. Now it's Mane. has got good distance on that gets the better of his man Pogba and the keeper's in command good idea just poorly executed 
Well, the pressure is relentless. It's a very, very high press. Yeah, because it's all about winning the ball back at the earliest opportunity, a trigger by one player for the others to follow and designed to force opposition mistakes. That's sprayed out wide. Gets up to head it! Quick delivery, no joy. Manchester United can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. That is a poor kick by the keeper, been intercepted. Juan Bissaka. Nothing wrong with that tackle, ball won cleanly. Fred. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Fabinho. Looking to hit the front line. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. And it's played forward. Pogba. Referee's given a throw. Fine, Eldon. And it's Firmino. Jordan Henderson. So that's it. It is all over. Well, much worthy industry, but that alone, simply not enough. They are beaten by the better side. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Yeah, and we know that derbies can often make predictions look silly. They can take on a, a personality of their own, and this one didn't really deserve to have a loser. Well, thanks for your company, Jim, and a very good day to you.